Pull it out. Just trust you to stop for a second there, Mark. Pre-season 2024, ready. Yeah, <laughs> Go in. First week back. Okay, so week one, pre season, 24, 25. Week started 7 30 a.m., actually 7 a.m. to pick up our kit. We're back. <laughs> It's like Christmas all over again. Birthday's not for a couple of months. Um, so yeah, you know, fantastic to come back in uh, first day, uh, very much into our first uh, teaching test week uh, is how we tend to look at the first week. So if everyone got their kit this morning. Probably on, is it? No, it's in uh, Mundacroft. Right? Okay. Yeah, this is um. Uh, we took the opportunity to get the players straight into a bit of cardio, um, get the new guys straight into a team, uh, start to learn players' names while under a little bit of cardio basket of distress. Hey, turn the boys down please, 2024-25 Chiefs, here we go. We're straight into a team challenge. Get everyone talking, communicating, new people in, people that haven't been here, been on loan. We're gonna go straight in. So with that, team challenge this morning. Four teams, you get four bits of kit on each team. Three watt bikes, one assault bike. 15 minutes, we'll be set on each bit of kit. It's how far you can go as a team in that 15 minutes. Flat out, start like we mean to go on, throwing up, full intensity, full bosh. <laughs> And um, let me tell you, preparation of getting back from Glastonbury the night before didn't help me out. Uh, but um, blew off a few cobwebs and then got into it. It was good to see some new faces and some old faces and get straight back into it. <laughs> interesting uh, and fun seeing a great level up for the group um, so uh, we, we built into a 15 minute challenge on the Watt bike um, in teams uh, to see how far they could go uh, which was which was fantastic you saw everyone gelling straight together day one um, which you know is, is always a pleasure for us to see <laughs> Let's get someone being sick, Nori. Do it for the crowd. Yeah, I'm fine. i Make sure you get through all the David Oyster stuff bags. You're staying here, you'll be weighing in, getting through the physio room, doing screening, and having a little bit of a stretch or a move after you've done that. So forwards, up to David Lloyd, backs, you're into your screening. Away we go, please, gents. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So yeah, from moving on from Monday, um, we very much, because it's a teaching test week, uh, we've very much gone on to um, swimming tests in the pool. Uh, the players' first um, visit to Limston this season, uh, six o'clock uh, Tuesday morning, which was a bit of an eye-opener for some of the young lads. Um, uh, they had a six-length swim test uh, with some fairly impressive times, to be honest. Uh, I think the highlight of uh, my morning there was to see young Josh Mann, um, Cornishman, who came up bought his own goggles for a swim test and wore the goggles on the top of his head uh, for the whole of his six lengths, which was always, uh, always an interesting one to watch. To meet at quarter to six in the morning for a swim at the Limston Marine Camp. It's not my favorite thing to do, but um, they get us in swimming because it's a very low risk chance of getting injured. Um, if you're running, there's, there's a high risk of getting injured, soft tissue or just any sort of thing. But if you're in the pool, it's quite a low risk. So they got, like to get us in early. And we did a test, a fitness test in the pool at the start of the week. We do six lengths as fast as we can. and. They split us up into groups and the fast guys are the sharks, the middle guys are the salmons and um, the tadpoles at the bottom. I won't tell you which, which one I'm in. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's uh, just another aspect to our pre-season that they're trying to get us up and swim in. The, pool, the, uh, the swimming pool is definitely the great humbler of everyone. <laughs> Again, that you've seen international rugby players just fail in the pool and you get some people that says you haven't you know really heard of they're just unbelievable swimmers so yeah it doesn't matter who you are yeah you, the pool will humble you at some point waking up early getting in the pool a uh, decent bit of camaraderie in there as well because everyone's having to do something that's really tough, so yeah. I'll tell you what, that pool down in Limpston is about a mile longer than other, any other swimming pool in the world, I think. You sort of get halfway thinking you're done, but no, you still got another two miles to go. <laughs>
Nice work for it. Uh, players went into our AST anaerobic sprint test, um, which is uh, a very good level of straight off for everybody uh, because it's uh, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide really. It's a maximal test, you against your peers uh, in terms of your positional peers. Um, and uh, I haven't yet done the times and worked on scores, um, but visually looking at how the players went, you know, I, I can say that uh, pretty much all the players have had a good off season. They've worked really, really hard, uh, and they've come back and uh, to a man, uh, you know, they they knuckled up, work really hard in the test uh, and push themselves you know, to the maximum that they could, um, which I'm really pleased to see. Hey mate. You did? Yeah, you did. You've <laughs> done an AST before? Yeah. Okay. I've done an AST before. Uh, Bronco. Bronco, Bronco yeah. We've done a few in off season, so we'll see how we go. See how we go, mate. It's like to see what you do. Yeah. A few of the larger men are doing it today, so I'm a bit, a bit worried. Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last time? Uh, I won, then Ross beat me 10 minutes later. <laughs> Took the record off me. You also tweaked your groin? Tweaked my groin, yeah, I did tweak my groin. But yeah, I'm quite nervous today. Ross isn't here today. Ross isn't here, but Inzi has lost a bit of weight. Okay. The big rule, lads, is down ups, okay? If your chest doesn't hit the floor, you'll get one warning, you'll then get a second warning. Okay, if you do it three times, you'll be asked to stop the test and you'll be asked to start again. Does that make sense, okay? So get it done right first time, but you don't want to end up doing it twice like Benji Joselin did two years ago. Understand? Perfect. Everybody happy? Yeah. Uh, about 10 seconds. Doing the AST is obviously, obviously always very daunting, but when you've been out for so long, any running session or anything is genuinely quite enjoyable to do, because there's nothing worse than watching the lads do tough sessions. Uh, you actually want to be involved, so it is very nice to get involved in doing them. Come on, push, open those legs. Lovely, good. Yes, boys, ready to run it. So every year we do this test, it's called the AST. I don't know what it stands for, but um, it's very painful. It's, uh, it's a way of getting you to your VO2 max, so your heart rate is going through the roof, your uh, breath rate is through the roof, it's painful. I've run one in my own time, but this is my first testing, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, 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 let's go, down up, let's go, up, down the five. Quick explanation of what's gonna happen. Daniel, yes please. As you can see, Dan is on the floor right now, chest to ground, head behind the pole, not to the left, not to the right. This is always the start and return position. Not to the left, not to the right, chest to ground. On the whistle blast, one full rep consists of, yes please, jumping up, you go around the five meter pole, you back paddle, not sideways, not cross, not falling back, you back, pedal back, chest to ground. You then pop back up, round the 10 metre pole and back, round the 20 metre pole and back. That is one full rep. The rep ranges will work a single, followed by a double, followed by a second double, followed by a four, followed by a final single. When you get to your four, you will be tired because the test is maximal. Make sure you listen to your instructor. He will tell you where you are so you can concentrate on staying in the hurt locker. When you are going round the poles, the poles are there to denote the distance, not for you to be a downhill slalom skier and knock over. Leave the pole alone, you go round the pole. The test is maximal, so when you get into your rest blocks, you will be tired and you will build up lactic. I will tell you how long you have in your rest block. I would advise you all to keep walking around, shaking the legs out, getting control of your breathing and having a drink. Use your rest block wisely. <laughs> Uh, 
when you're lined up on the line on the AST, it can, it's funny to see people's competitive natures come through. A lot of people would be like, oh, I'm taking it easy this year, taking it easy. And they line up next to someone in their position and you can see them starting to put their foot down. Um, that's just the nature of the sport. Uh, everyone in this club is very competitive, so if you're next to someone who's running a bit quicker, they'll, they'll G you up and I think that's, that's why you do it together. If you did it on your own, you'd get a slower score, I reckon. I uh, definitely needed it uh, to get me back to sort of the best I can be now. Hopefully that say injury free and then we can roll into the season. Fingers crossed and get some game time in. So yeah.